Welcome to the Chairman's Corner. We're here with uh, the Wayne County Board of Commissioners Chairman, Mr. Bill Pate. Bill, hey. Good morning. How you doing? It's a little bit chilly out here this it morning. It's chilly out here this morning. Today we, we uh, use uh, your back of your pickup truck here. Yeah, we won't do this farm style because we're out here at We Dig It today. We're at We Dig It at Odom Farms, JR and Emily Odom's yeah. Ag Day. They, do, they, they do this every year for the second graders, all the second graders in the county. And then that's the greatest thing. It is. I just love coming out here. I, I wouldn't miss it. Those kids get so excited. They do get excited. And despite what Commissioner John Bell always says, food does not always come from food line. <laughs> <laughs> Always come from food line, but he always likes to make that. He, he likes, does like to he, make he, that he point. Enjoys that. He's right about that. But it, you know, a lot of these kids, have, they've never had the opportunity to come out to a farm. You know, if you, all you see is in town, you you, you don't know. That's right. And they they they're born in town, they grow up in town, and somewhere in between, you would think that they'd realize from where the the food comes, yeah. but they don't think about that, and and it's not their fault. Yeah. And it brings back so many memories for me uh, because when I grew up, you know, most of us worked on the farm. Yeah. At least during the summertime. At least during the yeah, summertime. Yeah, my, I uncle I had, my uncle had a big farm in the northern end of the county, so my dad and you, I had a job every summer. There you go. They'd well, take me out there on Sunday and leave me. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go. We'll come back at night. Okay? So mama got rid of one kid anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know my grandparents uh, from from where my family comes, they were big tobacco farmers. Yeah. Well, they weren't big, but, I mean, they all were tobacco farmers to some degree up near the uh, – uh, Reynolds Tobacco and Winston Salem. Uh, my folks were from north of that point, up around Stokes yeah. County, and they grew a lot of tobacco. But they also grew a lot of other stuff too. Uh, but for personal consumption, and uh, they had a root cellar that had all the canning goods in them and, and everything. And, and those those were fond memories of mine working on the farm. Yep, and especially those cold days where you know you, you know, took care of hogs and that kind of thing, Absolutely. and they fried the skins out there. Man, that was fine. That's right. It sure was. Of course, you had a smokehouse and everything. Yeah, that's there, right. right. It sure did. Yeah. Sure did. But anyhow, let's get down a little bit of business. We're going to go and, uh, down to business now. I, mean, I hate so, to do that, but well, you know, we, we'll have some more fun in a little while. Let's do that. we got a commissioner's meeting coming up yeah, Tuesday. We, we that's a, that's the 4th of April. I don't think it's going to really be too long, I don't think, but you never know. But that special recognition that I've been talking to you about yeah. is going to take place. Is that going to happen? It, it's finally going to take Hot place. Hot dogs. So, I'm glad to hear so that. So that surprise is it's coming on Tuesday. Uh, can't tell you just this minute, but we you'll find out that, soon that's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, we'll have Mike Meyer will be coming in too later. Uh, from the ABC board yeah. and to talk about their, their budget and that kind of thing. And I think they may be bringing some dollars in too, so we'll see how that works out. Well, that's out. good. Because, you know, a few years ago, they gave gave money and it went to the um, to the Board of Education for the school teachers' supplies and that kind right. of thing in the room. But I don't know how that's going to be this year, and I'm not trying mm -hmm. to say that it's going, it's going to be like right. that, but, but that's my hope he's going to bring us news of that sort. Well, that's good. Um, that's good. Hope he does. Then we're going to have a Marl Schlesinger of Geo's Syntec consultants that's hard to even say they're going to be talking about the duke energy um, flood plan oh. letter for the map revision okay and i'm not exactly sure what that's all about yet but I, i'm sure i'll learn on we'll, tuesday we'll find out on tuesday yeah. we'll just tease everybody unfortunately right now. george was not able to attend the agenda meeting on tuesday oh okay. he was off in another meeting yeah. and so um i was going to ask him to explain it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm sure he could that's in reference of course to county manager george Wood. right okay. and um um, and I don't know, we've been talking about this, about the old Carver High School in Mount Olive. Yeah. And um, trying to make a decision on how this, they want, the you know, school board will get it back. And I think they will just you know, go ahead and turn it over to, to Mount Olive. Because Mount Olive's got a lot of things going on down there. Of course, they got, I think they got the vote on it Monday night. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay. So, but that, that's been a process, and I think everybody's in agreement. Um, so it can be used for what it's being used. I think wages in there, and there's a cooking school in there, and there's several right. other things. But it's not being used for education no, as far as public it's, school. It was it's an old school, and um, it would need huge renovations. Yeah. And um, so I think it's serving a good purpose for what it's going to be for. I Great. hope that works okay. out anyway. Okay, good. What else we got? Uh, we'll be talking about scheduling the public hearing. You, know, you heard us last last time to go ahead and move forward with the going to the bond market. Uh, to borrow the monies to pay for the for the schools that yep. we're building. Oh yeah, um, and pay for the rest of the ag center and a couple of other projects. And so we have to have a public hearing that'll be scheduled. The public hearing will be scheduled. Uh, let's see for April 18. Okay. And um, I'm not sure what the time is on that, but I'm, they'll set up a, a time for people to come in and get public comments. So that will on be that. during a commissioner's meeting. And uh, th these are the projects that we've been talking about for good gracious um better than a year i mean i try to keep everybody updated 
and you know you can't use all your fund balance to pay for everything you do need to go out and borrow money when it's really cheap to borrow that's right and we were in great we're in good financial condition um, with the sales taxes where they're on the property taxes where they are we'll easily be able to meet our obligations and if George was here, he could explain it better than I could, but we got to bridge a couple of years before we spend a whole lot more money. Yeah. But we got some debt that's coming off. That's, that we're not going that's to have right. anymore. That's right, and it's not going to have any more. We'll, right. we'll really be back where we are today. So um, I don't anticipate any increase in property taxes this year. And, I, of course, I'm sort of like, I'm scared to say that, like George Bush Sr. Yeah. said, no, read my list. Read you know, my list, and then no it has, new taxes. But I don't think that's going to happen this year. I'm, oh, that's I'm, good I'm, news. I feel, I feel that is good news. Like, and we let me just interject very quickly. Yeah. Our uh, taxes came down a few years ago. Our oh, county, yeah, they have. county taxes did came yeah. down a few years ago, and we've been able to hold that line. They were about uh, sixty cents, yeah, you know, to the hundred. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, really it's not Four, very six, much. Six 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 five, I think is what six, it is. Six 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 five, right? Now, maybe a little bit off, and if not, if I'm off, Allison, I'm sure our financial. Uh, she'll straighten right. you she'll out. She'll straighten <laughs> me out when we, when we <laughs> get there next right. Tuesday. But that's about right. But now we're one of the least expensive tax yeah, rates we in, were, in Eastern North Carolina. I think when I came on board, we were. at Right at almost 72. We were. And in fact, I think we were over 72. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah we lowered it four cents the first year, and we, yeah. it's come down a little bit more since then. That's good news. Uh, we got several budget memos. I won't go over that. I'll let, let Allison describe all that when we get there on Tuesday. And um, Dave, um, what's his name? Lewis fell over there in Pottwell. He's, he wants to, us to give him a res resolution so he can do some fireworks. Oh, okay. He does it every every year. Or July 4th. Yeah. Okay. And, um then we got a we got a um, road that's going to be added to where they're asking for a motion to approve a road be added to the DOT system. It's another subdivision. Oh, okay. Know. Let's see here, and I don't know whether um, I'm going to skip that because I'm not sure we're going to do that yet because George was gone. I know we made some changes on the the agenda. Then there's a proclamation for day for national service. I think we got somebody coming in to, to read that. Oh, good. And okay. then the gardening month in Wayne County, which kind of fits. You know, fits where we are. <laughs> where we are Gardening today. month. Yeah. And I'm sure somebody from the Master Gardeners group will come over yeah. and read that resolution. I hope so. Yeah. That's good and, thing. Uh, that's something that I do every summer at home. I just enjoy doing it. I know it's cheaper to go probably buy it at the store. But you got to get some exercise, folks. Well, now, wait a minute. And it's great to walk out there and you grab your own tomato off yeah. the vine. But now, wait a minute. That's so relaxing. I mean, can you imagine uh, how wacky we would all be if we didn't have something to help us relax? I, and gardening I, is great. I just really enjoy it. It's a lot of work, though. It, oh, yeah, it is a lot of work. Man, my neighbor really appreciates it. I catch him out there stealing my tomatoes all the time. <laughs> 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 well, we don't want to name that person, do we? We won't name that no, person. But that's, no, we won't. I name won't him. talk about Tim. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't talk about Tim. Whatever his name is. And the uh, the sheriff's office. Uh, we're one of um, a lot of a lot of counties that don't have an armored vehicle. Um, if you go to a crime scene and someone's shooting a, a high power rifle, mm -hmm. even the vest that they got mm -hmm. won't stop it. Yeah. Those rounds will go right through a vehicle. So we've been having to call in uh, Johnson County to bring in their armored vehicle. So it's a safety thing. And, and the sheriff's found us a really good deal, and I'll let him explain it when we get there Tuesday. Okay. And because it's all about safety of not only our citizens, but also our uh, first responders and our you know uh, law enforcement folks. Yes, indeed. Okay. We've been talking with um, the, the fire departments and that kind of thing and, and looking at a training facility. And yes. we, we're there are pieces of it all the way around the county, and we're kind of of the opinion that perhaps maybe we should look at one site that, that gets the, 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 the bigger dollars so everybody can come and, and, and train at that site. Mm -hmm. And I think for the most part, I think everybody's in agreement with that. But we're going to be hiring an architect and engineering consultant to develop a master plan for us. So, so this would be for all of the volunteer fire departments in the county, right? Because they they've got to be they got to go through training yeah. and um, and we don't have anything yet, right? No, right. This, we're actually this it's going to be a property over there near Wayne Community College, and oh, a lot yeah. of and a lot of the the um, is it license or whatever they get they have to get yeah. they have to get it through the community college anyway. Oh, well, so it'd be right there together, convenient. and it ties in and it helps helps the college as well. Okay, and. The thing I talked about a little bit last time yeah. about the insurance, yeah. the medical insurance plan. Oh yeah. Well, the truth of the matter is, it's better than than we thought. Oh really? Yes. Well, that's good news, Bill. And we've got to make a decision on which option we pick, but 
things have things are better than we thought. When I, I, I was a little bit gloom and doom last time. Yeah, you were. And I was yeah. sorry about that, but I was trying to you know make sure I want to be transparent and everybody to understand. But um, you know, cost of insurance is really expensive. It's very expensive. And, and uh, we're talking about uh, Wayne County employee insurance. That's exactly right. Wayne County employee that's coverage. Correct. That's correct. So because it was going to go through the roof. But, yes, it was. And uh, but we're going we're going to be talking about that. And it's like again, it's not as not as bad as as I had anticipated. Well, that's good news. I'm I'm glad. We met, to hear that. We met with our consultant last Friday, matter of fact. Okay. And um, and I went away from there a lot happier. <laughs> than I was when I went in because I was really worried it was going to be a, a huge impact. Right. But it's not as bad as we thought. Oh, well, that's good. Even though it was a Friday afternoon meeting, I told George, wow, on a Friday afternoon Why a Friday meeting? afternoon meeting? I'll yeah. be like some other commissioners be at the coast. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that. No, no they, they don't, don't do that. that. No, they don't uh, do one, that. One more thing that, you know, since we're talking ag, um, you know the Agriculture Center is really moving it fast. It is moving quickly. You can really see it shaping yeah. up. We should have already had an event center director hired. Yeah. But we um, we have kind of ran in a roadblock, not finding exactly what we wanted. But now we have had a number of um, applicants that have applied who meet the bill. Really? Based on resumes. Well, that's excellent. Right. So we will begin the interviewing process Monday. Okay. Interview process Monday. And then any idea, a timeline about when a decision could be made. Well, I, I, if we get the right person, we're going to go ahead and move pretty quickly on this thing, probably that's within a week. Oh, really? Oh, Which, that's great news. So you need to be booking events two years out. Yeah. I mean, if we don't get somebody on board, because we, they're already getting calls at travel and tourism. Right. And um, <clears throat> if we don't get somebody and get these things booked, we're going to end up with a big fat zero there for a period of time, and we can't afford that. We've got to be able to make sure that it brings in some income to help right. pay for it. So got to get those bookings but started. But you got to have the right person to do that. That's true. And I'm telling you, March of next year, we'll be here before we all know it, and that thing will be open. It'll be open. And I'm crossing my fingers. I'm not going to be up in Portland if we continue to get the good weather that we've had. All right. Don't all you right. think? Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. That's a, that's a year from now. Mm -hmm. A year from right now, that thing will be open, and um, we'll be ready to use it. Oh, that's right. I'm looking forward to it, and um, I know the community is as well. That is exciting. And that's all I got for you today, except for we need to go over here and play with the kids a little bit. And, well, let's do that. Yes. Let me quickly remind everybody that the commissioner's meeting will be Tuesday, April 4th, and everything starts at 8 o'clock with, with an agenda briefing. That's an informal meeting, and then the formal meeting itself will actually begin at 9 o'clock, but you're invited to both of them on the fourth floor of the Wayne County Courthouse. Everybody's invited to attend. All right. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Chairman Bill Pate of the Wayne County Board of Commissioners. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir.